Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we have a really awesome article posted by Windows Central, and it's the official change log of the Surface Zero 1, Surface Zero 2 getting Android 12L. Now, I saw some comments of people saying that they did not receive the update yet. Uh, the same thing that happened with Android 11, and same thing happens with pretty much every single phone game uh, update, like the major updates. Within the next three days, 90% of people should have this update. For some reason, uh, whenever a launch happens like this, when everyone just absolutely goes crazy, Android 12 L is here. Half of people get it, half of people don't. After 24 hours, that moves up and up and up. And eventually, Microsoft gets it out to everybody. For the 10% who might not have it after three days, that could be really about regional issues, uh, service provider issues, whatever the case. It might not even be in Microsoft's hands anymore. But within the next three days, 90% of people will have this update, including myself. <clears throat> Don't like to brag, but this actually is one of the best updates ever. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and talk about this because we have to break this down for those who do not know all the beauties of Android 12L, especially with the fact that 12L is going to make the Surface Zero 2 a top seller again, in my opinion. All right. So it says upgrades the Android operating system from 12L uh, to 12L for affordable devices for general information about Android 12, see Android 12. So I want to go ahead and take a second here to look at Android 12 and what all the things that have been updated. Because I have been talking about it a lot in my videos, but I just want to make one video here where we just break it down real fast. All the features that are being added to the uh, Surface Zero 1 and 2 with 12L. So starting off right away, we have color extraction. Uh, this, of course, lets you be able to take a base coat of paint in the new um, color extraction is the base coat of paint in the new redesign. Basically, the OS natively extracts the colors from your wallpaper and uses them as a theme on your OS. So pretty much what you could do is actually um, what's called you take the whatever your wallpaper is, right? Let's say it's a vibrant wallpaper, right? You get a color palette of like seven different options and you can now make all your applications all your like background screens that color so it matches with your wallpaper so it's all fluently built in and it looks so freaking amazing absolutely love that that's probably one of my favorite features honestly that's one of my favorite features just because i love personalization when it comes to cell phones uh the reason why i went with android for so freaking long until ios 14 came out and apple actually got with a program about personalization i absolutely love that so much all right so number two quick setting tiles something that we do see a lot when it comes to the surface zero two images of android 12l is the quick settings receive a rather large overhaul as well the small uh, toggles are going replaced by larger rounded rectangular buttons these new tiles work like previous tiles where you tap to turn them on or off there's also new tiles for microphone camera and more later on google pay alerts and smart home stuff which is absolutely awesome i love these tiles uh, settings, of course, settings have a lot of new security features, uh, but it's also going to not only saw a redesign, obviously, we saw that with the Android 12L's images of the on the Surface Zero 2. For the redesign, it borrows heavily from Samsung One UI, which large headers that take up tons of space. It makes the top settings on any uh, given page easier to reach on taller phones. Obviously, we are talking about the Surface Zero 1 2. The new design uh, code name Silky Home requires. Um, okay, so that's obviously, yeah. Anyway, notifications and other changes. Notifications look absolutely gorgeous on Android 12. Uh, new features. Um, no knockout punches, but also feeds as some quality of life. Scrolling screenshots. We have app, uh, app search. We have improved auto rotate. Easier Wi-Fi sharing, one-handed mode, uh, rich content insertion, audio selection in media player, overview uh, suggestions, other minor additions, obviously. Uh, we have a bunch of new emojis, a screen dimming mode in accessibility settings, tweak gesture controls, 
um, and a quick tap function for select pixel devices that let you use the back of your device to control your phone. Uh, app hibber hibernation app hibernation. Oh my God. And game mode APIs. Um, and then of course we have other ones like H E V, uh, H E V C media transcoding, uh, multi channel audio optimization for apps, picture and picture improvements, so on and so on. We have security improvements. As I said before, we have a privacy dashboard, which actually is a big W microphone and camera indicators, uh, approximation, prox, approximate location. Uh, small security updates and that is that so obviously like I said yes Android 12 in general is absolutely amazing but with 12L we are also getting of course the 12L's taskbar which is probably one of my most favorite feature of 12L is the ability to actually have that taskbar you can multitask so freaking fast with that taskbar now don't get me wrong I'm not saying a thousand percent here that you know the taskbar over time is going to work so perfectly with the Surface Duo 2 or 1 but it's just a nice little extra feature to have. And if you do run any type of third-party software, you will, or third-party launcher, you will actually lose it. So that's beside the point. Um, anyway, though, what we always are used to seeing as Android uh, Surface Zero 2 and 1 fans, address the scenarios outlined in Security Bulletin. Yeah, let's go. New uh, Fluent UI redesign quick settings and settings refresh Microsoft V design uh, new system effects. Windows Ascent colors and dynamic theming based on chosen wallpapers. New Windows inspired wallpapers. Pen menu for the Surface uh, Slim 2. Uh, and this is actually really cool. I want to go ahead and just, you know, kind of talk about this for a second. Is that so now there's a whole entire pen menu for the Surface Slim Pen 2. Only the two, not the one, not the original, just the two. Uh, I still say that because I know somebody's going to buy the one and be like, it's not working for me. It's only for the two. Uh, but what's really awesome is you actually have a pen menu now that says exactly what your battery percentage is for that said pen. And you also are able to go ahead and actually uh, set custom well, two things. You can custom applications. When you click the pen, they will open up. But also, if you click the pen, you also will get four different drawing apps that you can open up real fast and actually start drawing. So again, like I said, absolute W's as always. Let's go ahead and continue. Transfer Microsoft Teams meetings to the time widget. Optimize battery usage and performance for Microsoft Teams through hardware offloading. And this is something we're going to see, I really do believe, moving forward a lot. Um, and then right here, it actually literally says, if you have AT&T on the Duo 1, you might have to wait a few days for that update to be greenlit by the carrier. And this is why I said in the very beginning. Again, keep in mind, it's also 32 gigabyte update. But keep in mind, just moving forward, if you're in different regions, if you have certain carriers, you're going to have to wait a couple of days. I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, though, what you're going to see moving forward, and it's something I honestly do believe Microsoft needs to do, especially to go ahead and really just fully get the most out of this software slash like use the software to reboost this device up to max like sales is they have to continue to push the fact this is a Microsoft device. This is a device that's meant for business people and business professionals to actually use during their business meetings because that's the best way they can sell this device. They try selling this device as a, you know, just a cool, crazy new invention. Failed. They try to sell this device as Xbox Game Pass. Failed. They try to then turn this device into a flagship phone that, you know, could compete with Samsung and be a flagship phone. Failed. Now, their last ditch effort is, listen, this is a Windows type device, not Windows device, but Windows based device that really is focused on helping businesses and business professionals do their daily life slash daily career and actually be able to fully, you know, do their thing so again like i said i know it's one of those things where you look at it and you're like okay um 
is this going to help me out a lot of updates moving forward probably won't be for the general public as a beneficiary uh mainly because i think they will be going more toward microsoft teams and microsoft kind of you know ideas when it comes to like businesses but we will still be getting updates to this device and again if this device starts picking up do our three is right around the corner guys if you did enjoy this video the lights coming down below see you guys the next one Boo.